<laughs> oh, oh dear. Yeah. That was a great way to start. Hello and welcome to episode three of our um, eight video series looking at spiritual practices. Um, we are working our way through the Followers of the Way spiritual practices from Elim. Um, my name is Ben and I am with... Jonathan, that's me. Um, yep, my name's Jonathan. Cool. Uh, today we are going to be thinking about silence and solitude. Now, we had the idea of just sitting here and just staring into the camera for uh, 10 minutes. But we won't do that because it's super awkward. <laughs> This seems like a kind of strange time to be talking about silence and solitude, right? Mm -hmm. um, there is there's seemingly solitude everywhere. I right? even just going out and walking around. Um, we are locked in rooms, in bedrooms, doing schoolwork and coursework on our own without our classmates. I'm not saying this to get you down, but it's not easy. And so it does seem like a strange time to be talking about it. But I don't know if there's necessarily always silence, is there? Do you want to talk a little bit about where there might not be silence? Well, I mean, to look at where there not be silence, Ben and I have been talking just for a few minutes. And if I look at my phone, which is on silent, I have 36 notifications. Wow. That's a lot. That's why there's not silence. Because you, we live in a day and age where technology and communication is thankfully literally at our fingertips. Mm. And I, I, as someone whose family lives on the other side of the world, who has moved around my entire life, um, <clears throat> I'm grateful for, for cell phones and, and, and Zoom and the different messaging programs so that we're able to communicate. However, it keeps us from being silent. Even when we're sitting in our room late at night, it's still bing, 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 bing. Mm. And yeah, so it's just a, a constant bother. <laughs> and even when you say, oh, just take five minutes, there's still that buzzing, that, that, that noise in the corner. Yeah, it's <clears throat> silence we we naturally think about as being you know audible hearing mm -hmm. things and you know going to somewhere that's quiet but i think it's more to do with our minds mm -hmm. isn't it and our our kind of spirit it's about it's about being constantly on on edge mm -hmm. and i don't know about you but certainly for me and probably i imagine for a lot of you guys watching this when I don't have my phone on me or my phone has run out of battery and it's it's I'm not I've not been able to charge it yet I feel kind of anxious like I feel like I'm missing out on life I feel like I'm missing important things and then you know an hour later or whatever when I eventually get my phone back or I switch it on because it's now charged and there's a load of notifications none of them are really important <laughs> but i feel so anxious of like you know do, mm -hmm. there's there's a statistic i can't remember how many it is but we check our phones so much during the day we don't even realize it not because we have missed something but because we f we think that we might have done we think mm -hmm. there might be a message um I mean, I do it. I've done it during this recording. I think I've done it twice already. Just kind of glanced over at my phone. No, there's nothing there. Just tells me the time. <laughs> That's it. But in my brain, I'm thinking, oh, what if there's a message? What if there's an email? Yeah, and I think one of the things, <clears throat> I, I will constantly do this. I will look at my phone's digital well-being app. And I, I know um, uh, iOS has it and Android both have the did some form of digital well-being and just today 
I've had 71 notifications and 22 unlocks, which means I have unlocked my phone to look at a notification 22 times. And for context, it's only like quarter to 11 in the morning. Quarter to 11, 22. You had a lion this morning. <laughs> and I had a lion this morning. <laughs> Some of those might be from like after midnight. However, um, 22 times is still quite a lot for quarter to 11 in the morning. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. So what can we do about this? Um, there is a, there is an important point here, and it's not just phones are bad, because they're not. Phones are not bad. Phones are tools, and we use them, and, and they, they help us to be connected. They help us to feel safe, especially mm -hmm. at the moment when we're isolated from so many people. They can help us to, to have a sense of community. I know for me, mm -hmm. it's really helped. But at the same time, we need to recognize that being on our own sometimes and cutting out all that stuff is really important. You know, Jesus did this, didn't he? He he went up into the mountains to pray. He went away from the noise mm -hmm. to a place of silence. Now, as an introvert, I find that quite an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. But I recognize that there are extroverts, people who want to be around people, who find that who find that really difficult and to be honest at the moment even though i'm an introvert i i miss hanging out with people like i do miss sitting around a table and playing board games uh, i i i miss youth like i miss hanging out with all you guys um but i recognize that we we also need those spaces of silence and we need to choose to be in those places have you got any kind of thoughts or suggestions on what people might be able to do? I find that setting a period of time a day to mm. be the best. And for me, I know a lot of people, you often hear that, oh, it needs to be in the morning, in the morning, in the morning. Mm. I don't like the mornings. I, I question their sanctity sometimes. <laughs> yeah. um, so I, I prefer, and in the mornings, you know, we've, my wife and I, we have two small children. There's no quiet in the morning. <laughs> there's a, unless you're getting up at like five o'clock there's no quiet yeah. um so i'll often have my time of quiet before i go to bed mm -hmm. i will so my phone goes on to do not disturb mode on at 9 30 so it turns off all notifications it doesn't ping it doesn't do highlights nothing um and so I put it put it in do not disturb mode and then i will I'll, I will literally just sit. I might read a passage of scripture, um, maybe something I, from my, I will often read a little devotional in the morning. So it might be something that I've read in the morning and I'll just finally, you know, I've been thinking about it all day. I've been kind of praying about it all day and I'll finally just sit down and kind of let my thoughts and my spirit connect and kind of, what is this meaning to me? What does this mean for me now? And I'll just, I'll just sit in silence, like literal silence. No, no music, no background noise. Just I'll sit on the sofa, sometimes on the floor. I have a, a acupressure mat for my back. Sometimes I'll lay on my mat and I'll just sit there and I'll just, I'll just pray and I'll just ponder over scriptures, over the events of the day. And I, I find it so relaxing. Um, and it, and it probably helps me fall asleep at night a lot quicker. Cause then by the time I do go into bed, it's just out. <laughs> I think that's the thing, isn't it? Is, is, is forcing yourself to make that space. And it's hard, you know, my challenge to you, I think would be, or those of you watching it, this would be to take at least sort of five minutes a day, turn your phone off or put it on to do not disturb. You're not going to miss anything important. You're, you're honestly not. I can guarantee if you go through your messages from the last 24 hours, none of them were, none of them were urgent. None of them needed an immediate response within five minutes. And as much as you, you feel that need to respond immediately, you don't have to take that pressure off yourself. And, um, and you, you, you'll find a lighter side of life. Um, so take five minutes or 10 minutes each day, 
turn your phone off, put it on to do not disturb. Don't sit and watch TV while you do this. <laughs> have, have screens off, noise off. It might be that your five, 10 minutes of silence and solitude are sat with your family. Mm -hmm. It might be that you are sat with your brother or with your sister or with your mom or your dad. And you just, you talk and you cut out that distraction of the, the, the buzz of the phone. Mm -hmm. So that would be my, my challenge to you. Spend that time, pray, connect with God in that time. And, uh, and yeah, report back, let us know how it's gone. Um, did you feel that sense of anxiety within you when you turned off your phone? Uh, or, and did it have an impact? Did you feel better afterwards? Mm -hmm. um, and don't forget it takes it takes weeks to start a habit so yeah. so it, it will take a while to get used to doing it and to persevere and keep going and as usual we're here if you want to chat about it or if you want to report back or talk about any of your experiences just drop mm -hmm. us a line or comment below and um, yeah and we will uh, see you all next week yeah. bye, bye.